Sorry. <laughs> what? What's good, YouTube? It's a little, it's a little smudge on the screen. Uh, still right there, hold on. Do you see it? When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Today we're here at Gold's Gym Glendale, uh, one of my main gyms, my main morning gym. I usually do my first workout here, sometimes my second workout here throughout the, later in the day, or I go to North Hollywood at No Limit Fitness, which is my favorite gym of all time here. But anyways, we're going to be focusing on the pump and massive gains, all right? We're gonna hit some heavy shoulders, heavy arms, we're gonna do heavy both. I don't really train arms like that much anymore like I used to back in my bodybuilding, like physique model type days, you know, just because it, um, decreases my mobility and stuff, which it does. I'm not trying to gain 20 inch arms anymore, but I'ma let y'all know if I was, this is what I'd be doing. All right, so we're going up, going up by 45s. First set, 20, 15, 10, five. That's the set. So one plate, 20, two plate, 15, three plate, 10, four plate, five. We're going in that order. Well, notice that I'm not coming all the way down here. I'm coming right here. You see where that 90 degree, that perfect 90, that perfect 90 degree angle right there. I should have worn my black Reeboks instead of my white ones to match the hat. But I was thinking about the shirt. Order G Fuel at gfuel.com. Use code Aftermath. Also, if you would like a strength formula pre-workout uh, with some creatine to get the body going, get the blood, the volume going, order 24K pre-workout. It's, it's not like a pre-workout, they wanna call it a strength formula, but it's still a pre-workout because you take it before a workout. But anyways, 24K, it's been like half off. It used to be 80 bucks, um, and then we like reason with them like, yo, like 80 bucks is too much for a pre-workout. You know, even though it has gold in it and stuff, but I believe it's 40 bucks now. So check out gammalabs.net. Thank you, you still have to math. 10% off. Or <sighs> Look at that bicipious right there. See them gains right there? Woo! Can't see it in this arm because the tattoos like mess it up. I might get this removed and just kind of like half it. I might get that removed. Nobody's looking at the insides of my arms. The type of training you do matters at times, but a lot of times it's the food intake. So let's say, all right, I just said this is good for volume. We're going to do like a good volume, good strength work out right now but depending on the food intake you have regardless you're building that lean muscle through this workout that we're doing today I'm trying to catch my breath you can develop a more leaner looking muscle bicep tricep shoulders we're doing volume and we're doing strength at the same time you know it's whether you're in that deficit or not that determines uh, the way your muscle will pretty much evolve you can evolve in a leaner looking way you can evolve in a size way so, true. What are some heroes that we who's killing them pretzels? Bro, the Oreos bro, are not existing. The anymore. Oreos are gone, bro. I thought you ate the last thing. And then I realized that you brung it in the room. Yeah. Bro. Jeff's a trooper, bro. <laughs> I killed the Oreos. I can't drink the milk, but I can eat the Oreo. I can still dip it and eat it, but if I drink the milk, I start getting itchy. But Hero Academia came out late yesterday. We're gonna watch it today. Yo, comment below the best anime snack foods, yo. Cause that's, I, I, I jumped back from honey cashews to the, the regular cashews, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't like, you know, I don't like the We got five for four wheels, that five for four meal. Yeah. You already know. One, two, three. So it's some little, uh, not new, but I've been doing, I don't think I've showed you guys, is I find one of these for an incline bench, and I lie on it like this, right? And then I do shoulder raises like this. I feel a lot more tension in that cap to really round out the shoulders. So I only use about like 20 pounds with this for about 12 to 15 reps. We'll do about four sets to tap the, keep tension the whole time, just tap, 
the leg and keep going. What you doing, bud? Yeah. Doing whatever it is. What about you? Uh, I guess you're I know you're working when, when you're just doing some, some laterals and your heart over here suffocating. They all of a sudden just turned the music all the way the freak up. Like it was just perfectly fine, subtle, you could barely hear it. Now they're playing Wannabe Linkin Park or System of the Dam or I like rock music and metallic so I'm not like joshing anybody, but yeah. All right, continuing on. I just want to say I appreciate your work ethic. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. We got the same, uh, yeah, no, headphone coming. We got the same exact yeah. headphones. Yeah. 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 Look at this fucking guy, bro. <laughs> Shit, I saw you over there like, yo, this nigga big. No, I appreciate your work oh, ethic. No, 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 you no, work so hard. You yeah. Yeah. No, I'm a Mess Physique competitor. Mess yeah. You a pro? Yeah. <laughs> you a pro? All right, he's yeah. a pro. Yeah, you have to be a pro. Joe. Joe, man, nice, nice to meet you, bro. All right, for a fact, bro. Yeah. Heck, I'm over here, I'm like, yo, we probably need to get a workout in or something. No, this guy yeah. could probably teach me a couple things. Nah, nah, you could probably teach me. I was like, yo, I need to get some better abs or something. I eat okay. too many are, you, are you thinking of competing? Hell no. Nah. I just made a long ass post about that. Oh, bro. you did, you did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I competed like uh, 2014. Okay. It messed up my metabolism really bad. Yeah, yeah. And it took me a year to yeah. like, get it back, and I was just like, yo, I'm not, I can't. That was when you were doing like the modeling thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modeling yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Next one's Olympia. Yeah. Next one's Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. So, September. So, yeah. so you've been I, doing it for a minute, yeah? Uh, since 2013 was my first show, and then turned pro 2014, and nice. I've just been going nonstop. Oh, since. yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. So we got an Olympian here, bro. <laughs> uh, definitely want a future <laughs> Olympian on the yeah. channel. Yeah, no, I, I'd be down. I'd yeah, do that. one of your type of workouts. Yeah, for sure. Like your, all right. See, like a little pyramid burnout type of workout, yeah, hypertrophy training, yeah, things yeah, like that. Sure. Yeah, I'm down. Right, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, it's a cool fight. Can I catch a picture with you? No problem. No problem. Let's get these curls in. They say not to curl in a squat rack, but who say anything about a bench? Curling the bench is good, because you got this part right here. Gives you like the perfect space between your legs for curls, you know what I'm saying? And if it gets too hard, like if you're starting to feel like you're like punching, you can just squeeze this. You just squeeze the bench, you get that midsection for the ladies, you get that midsection worked out, and you get some curls in. Oh, we're gonna set to 10. One, two, first set, 10. Get the heavy stuff out the way for the arms first. It's always pyramid schemes. You no, know we're not talking about Herbalife. When it comes to pyramid schemes, it started from that high volume rep, working into that mid volume, the strength rep, and ending it with the strength uh, rep range. And I always, majority of my workouts are pyramid scheme exercises. So, I love this. I love it all. And you should too. And um, this is not something I do all the time. Arm, like I said, all, arm workout. Actually, I'm just talking about right now. I'm gonna shut up. This hurt. Let's drop this and go to the bar. Close grip in. Up to 225. This is the first set. 
first 12 reps. I'm gonna do 225 for eight reps, four sets. That is not a pyramid. So about, about 40% of my bench, bench max around that. I can go up a little more. I feel like at this point, my body's not feeling full. I'm not getting that pump. What I'll do after a set is I'll do a weighted set. And I just like to throw in some close fit. What I'll do, except for triceps, for example, I'll do the pyramid push ups right here on an incline. Boom. You know, rep that out 15. 10 to 15 reps or 15 to 20, however many I need to really work that muscle. Um, throw in some, some drag curls, because drag curls really help pull that, just that blood right into that bicep. You know what I'm saying? Um, stuff like that, just think, think about, think about really working and aim for that feel, that volume work, that blood flow, get that blood going. My heart's speaking to me right now. What you saying, heart? I can't. I don't know if I can go anymore. <laughs> so when doing the um, close grip bench, get to a, a good, you know, close enough. I think right here, almost like a little bit more inside of my regular bench is good enough. Sometimes I used to go like mad close like this. So much pressure on the wrist and just bring it out. You don't need to be like right here, you know what I'm saying? Right here is fine enough, right? Because the main focus is really getting that, those, those um, elbows bent towards the body instead of being out. Usually when you regular bench, most people, uh, elbows are flared out. I bench like this anyway, so I'm used to this. So, we'll get this last set in. What was that? What was that, uh, that Joey Swole Instagram? We could do single bomb curls. Instead of being like this, open up your chest and then curl. Will be enough. I finished my eight reps, whatever, and I'm like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go up. And 45 is that good eight rep rep range for me uh, when it comes to the weight. Because around rep four, it's like, all right, like, yo, I gotta really ground for these last four reps. And that's what you have. That's the that's the mindset you need to have when you work out. Don't just pick a weight that you think you know, your first set. You're like, all right, I know I can do this for 12 reps. You shouldn't know that you could do it for 12 reps. You should know you should do it for eight reps, maybe, and then aim for 12. That's the kind of concept you wanna have. Next up, we got overhead, tricep, press. I don't even know what we call it, a press or an extension, because it's an extension, but it's a press at the same time. I don't really know, but we just gonna call it how it is. I'm gonna let y'all just call it what it is. But we got that, I'm gonna grab this one teens, create these one teens. I like to do it like this, because I get the you know, show off my cleaning skills. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, reset to 12. Remember, 
fight night round three, when you had to go into weight training, and you got them bars that you had to level up. I would always get perfect, bro. I was so I good at that shit, bro. That's what we doing now. Uh, we got sets of 20, so 10 reps each arm. In the pump rail, your nose start dripping. Uh. All right. All right. Finish it off with some tricep. I'm gonna do four sets of ten, as heavy as possible. Right here for tricep push downs. I'm actually gonna bring this down a little bit. This is too far up. About right here, face level. I'm tucking those elbows, bring it back. Ten reps. Last set, last set. Go. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. That's the full workout. I really appreciate you guys watching the video make sure you check out my last videos check out my vlogs because a lot of you ask for vlogs but yeah you don't really watch them which kind of makes me not want to do vlogs so I'll leave that to you guys uh, at this time of the video two videos should be up like right here I don't know if my angling is correct but whatever it is click on them and appreciate you watching the video peace when I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. My name is Jeff. It's Hefe, man.